I will show you how to create AI interpolation videos for design using Stable Diffusion AI, like the one in the background playing now. These great animations are quick to produce and you can easily vary the number of scenes and frames you like for each video. Already with Stable Diffusion, we can create any imagery you want from text. However, with this additional script, which I will show you, you can interpolate between two or more images, which can very effectively give you an understanding of changing styles, or just a simple time-lapse evolution, all within a short eye-catching animation. To get this working, first you need to load up Stable Diffusion. You can go over to the Extensions tab, click on the Available tab, and in the search bar type Prompt Travel. At the bottom here, click on the Install button, and this will just take a few moments. For this to take effect, we need to refresh the UI. So click on the Install from URL tab, hit the Apply and Restart UI button. From here, I will first show you an example to use the travel prompt using image to image. I'll take the example of Japanese houses from different styles and eras. And to make them easy to compare, I will use elevations. So for the first image, I will pick a front elevation of a Japanese farmhouse. I'll drop it in here and adjust the sampling to 30 steps to increase the quality and set the width and height to match the image. If the resolution is put to maximum, it will drastically increase generation times, so bear this in mind. You can play around with these settings, but the most important setting to turn on is in the script drop down at the bottom here to select prompt travel. All the defaults work fine, but you can take a look at the GitHub README to understand how the methods and frame genesis affects the generation. The travel steps is the amount of generations between the style changes, so 30 here is fine. As for the prompts themselves, this works by typing a separate line for each stage or style that you desire, and then ending with a comma. For this example, I will start by describing the image. So for example here, I would use a realistic detailed architectural front elevation photo of a traditional two-story Japanese farmhouse in the countryside, comma, and then new line. Each prompt, I would start in the same way so that they would match better and just change the end of the sentence. For example here, I would just change it to a two-story wooden townhouse in Kyoto and so on. Then add the normal negative prompts to reduce the chance of unwanted designs or ugly details and hit the generate button. You can see each of the 30 frames are created for each of these sentences. This will take some time, so I'll speed through it. But for the most part, you can see that the elevations keep to the same view and to the same scale. Occasionally it will switch to the perspective, but it returns to the elevations. You can always edit these out later on. Again, you might also just need to improve the prompts and add to the negative prompts. But you get an idea of how this works. When this is all generated, if you click on the folder underneath, the generated images will be appearing all in one place. If you go over to the travel prompt folder, you see from start to finish all the images generation. So you can remove the images that you don't like, and you can make your own GIF or video from these frames. Alternatively, there's already a pre-made video for you, so you can double click on that and see all the generations. So this is actually a very nice way to get a preview of these clips. Since you now have an understanding of how this extension works, I'll improve this workload by asking ChatGPT to create the prompts needed. For the next example, I'm interested in generating style interpolations of amazing ceiling designs from across the world. So I will start by asking ChatGPT to write a list of 10 distinct and remarkable ceilings across the world. So it starts generating with the Sistine Chapel, so it's looking good. Right, I like this list, but remember we require them to be in a certain format for stable diffusion. So I will ask ChatGPT to format this list into the sentence I need. So I will ask to take each of the names and append them to the sentence a realistic, detailed interior architecture three-point perspective, first-person view looking up to the ceiling of, and then add the ceiling and a comma at the end and a new line. 
With this, we can simply copy and paste all of this into the prompt and hit generate. Here I've chosen a square format so that it will center the ceilings and make a nicer transition. Once again, our source was listed by ChatGPT in comparison to the more generic prompts which I wrote for the Japanese house in the previous example. So as usual, prompts are key and keep iterating through them to get better examples. Now the video wouldn't be complete without actually traveling in time through the city. So for this next example, I've changed the city scale and of course tested out on areas of Tokyo from the 1800s up to the 2100s. For this prompt, I've simply added the words aerial, Tokyo, and the time period. I've upped the CFG scale to 10 to increase the AI and creativity a bit and give it more freedom. You can see here there are some rather wild results. You can see the image at the start is quite odd because evidently it doesn't have much imagery from the 1800s. And so it is inventing a scene from what it can. Even the early periods of the city, you can see that it looks like the data is generated from a postcard with this yellowish tint, which is actually quite interesting. Of course, you can see that it is pure fiction as the city is generated from a large variety of aerial data sets. Consistency between images is difficult to maintain due to the scale of the aerial view. So focusing on a certain scene and using a more specific camera will help, which I will test out in the final example. It's quite interesting to see that it picks up iconic landscapes and buildings around Tokyo, such as the Sumida River, Tokyo Sky Tree, and of course, Mount Fuji. Although I didn't suggest any colors in the prompts, and the creative addition of changing the image quality from a faded yellow photo to black and white, and then to color, and then to vivid futuristic colors really adds to the story, which I didn't consider before. So the AI creativity definitely does have its benefits. Now to address the issue of camera and scene consistency in animation. So for this final example, for the prompt, I'll keep the same concept of moving through periods of time in Tokyo from feudal Japan to cyberpunk Japan, but I'll reconfigure the prompts. I'll be adding the words two point perspective, first person looking down a central street to all the lines. And this will drive the AI to maintain the same view so there can be a focus on a change of styles rather than camera and the scene. As I go through the generations, you can see that stable diffusion is more closely keeping the street view and building layers the same with a cleaner interpolation. Here, the automatic color changes are working quite well and it all ends up in this final futuristic cyberpunk scene. If you go to the save folder of all the same images and double click on the saved recording, you can see how I made that introductory animation at the start of the center of Tokyo changing through the ages. You can now see the power of this simple script to grasp various style changes or tell a story. Perhaps for architectural design, it can be used as a tool to quickly get an idea of a range of styles, or simply as an animation to show the evolution of a building or a city. By taking advantage of the various perspectives and elevations you can prompt with, you can focus in on a specific feature, such as looking up at the ceilings, as in the video playing now in the background. I look forward to seeing what you can produce using this tool and I'll see you in the next video.